out here with the new jackhammer shotgun loaded up with 12 inch long shells. I'm super excited to see what this feels like. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of recoil. I love it. Cut. Thank goodness. My shoulder's about to fall off. Oh, oh why do I keep doing this to myself? I should have just started a gaming channel or like a cooking show, but no, you gotta shoot all the big guns. <laughs> oh, I just wanna go home. Ready for the next shot. You can do this, Scott. You can do it. You're a big boy. You got it. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'm super excited to show you my new shotgun. This is actually a coach gun. Typically these are chambered in 12 gauge, 20 gauge, and I've even seen some chambered in 410. But this behemoth of a coach gun is chambered in 10 gauge. Not only is this coach gun chambered in the almighty 10 gauge, but it also has a fiber optic front sight. It has been threaded to take chokes. It has a mercury recoil reducer in the stock and we're working with 18 and a half inch barrels. As you can imagine, I am very excited to try this thing out, so let's get started. Okay, our first target today is gonna be a Chevy pickup truck, and I'm gonna be loaded up with some 10 gauge, three and a half inch double lot buck. Let's take out the windshield first. Oh! piece of glass on that truck is busted except for that passenger side window. Let's take care of that, shall we? this pattern. I just got to show you this real quick. Look at that. That's like perfect. One, two, three. Dang it. Table. You're trying to embarrass me, table. Twenty minutes later. Okay, I'm loaded up with some number four steel shot. I want to pull both triggers. Let's see what kind of spread we get. Here we go. <laughs> you know, I would normally say like both barrels of 10 gauge, that's a lot of recoil. But after shooting the four bore, Nothing really does it for me anymore. Oh, would you look at that? It's time for a break. And while I'm taking a break, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Smith & Bradley Watches. This is the Smith & Bradley Discovery Field Watch, and from the ground up, this watch was designed for those who love to live their lives outdoors. This watch comes equipped with a NATO watch strap, tough mineral glass, and up to 100 meters of water resistance. It's tough to break and even tougher to lose. And on top of all that, this watch has a lifetime warranty. A big thank you to Smith & Bradley Watches for sponsoring today's video. Be sure and check them out. There's gonna be a link in the description down below. So we've used double lot buck. We've used number four shot. Now let's see what happens when we use some slugs. I have two gallons of Elmer's glue. Let's see what happens. 10 gauge, three and a half inch, one and three quarter ounce slugs. Oh! <laughs> now glue on the right. Oh. 
It's so stringy. Up next, we have some eggplants, because nobody likes eggplants. But I ain't shooting them. button or something really bad's about to happen to this Furby. You know what they all do it? Five, four, you better hit that subscribe button. Three, two, okay tough guy. <laughs> this fur is on your hands. That could have been prevented. All you had to do was hit that subscribe button. I bet next time you will. And for those of you who are subscribed, I'm really sorry you had to see that. Okay, up next, we are gonna shoot one gallon of sweet relish, and I have one gallon of tartar sauce. Okay, loaded up with the one and three quarter ounce slugs again, going with the tartar sauce first. Oh! Now the relish. Oh. Oh. That is quite disgusting. Okay, up next I'm gonna shoot some cabbages, but uh, I'm gonna try to shoot them out of the air. Ah. <laughs> Shoot these cabbages, shall we? Yep. <laughs> ah, got it. Ah, oh, darn it. Just nicked it. Okay, up next, I have a five gallon jug full of slime that we mixed up kind of thick. Because this slime is so thick, I'm definitely thinking we need to hit it with a slug but not just one slug. I think both barrels at the same time would be appropriate. Two one and three quarter ounce 10 gauge slugs. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna ride the lightning. was a lot of damage. One, a two. Ah. After shooting that five gallon jug of slime with two slugs at the same time, I have to admit my interest is peaked. So now I have a Ballistic Dummy Lab zombie bust. I'm gonna set it up on the table here and I think I'm gonna hit it with two barrels of double lot buck. Three and a half inch, 10 gauge, double lot buck. Going to the tube. My shoulder totally hates me right now. All right, here we go. Oh! Well then, I would say that did it. Oh my gosh, yeah. He's not looking too healthy. I'm wondering if both barrels even hit him because I saw quite a bit of dirt fly up over there. Regardless, I would say the 10 gauge coach gun is very effective against zombies. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. What did you think about the 10 gauge coach gun? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a big favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, 
Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. See you next time.